Hi, I'm John Lanius, president of Vidzu Media, part of the Nitrous Effect Collective of Companies, and welcome to The Leadership Factor. If you've been watching our interviews, we've been interviewing incredible leaders from all around the world, and joining me right now is John Pertzborn. He's an anchor at Fox 2 News in St. Louis, and John is in a unique situation. He's in self-quarantine due to a recent trip. John, how are you? I'm doing fine. fantastic, John. Thank you. My wife is doing well. It's right now, uh, her coughing has subsided for two days, so that's a good sign. Well, you know, more than being a person who's been in the media for 30 years, you're a very good friend of mine. First of all, I want to thank you so much for, for supporting my book before everything went crazy. And, uh, you know, you're a very interesting person uh, off the air. And I thought you'd be, you know, a really great interview to talk about how many people are reaching out to you while you're in quarantine. So uh, what kind of resources are you hearing about for the community right now? Well, people have been reaching out, uh, for example, the American Red Cross last week saying, hey, we, we've got to continue to uh, get people to donate blood because we're at crucially low levels right now. So that is one aspect. Um, also, uh, I've been contacted by a substance abuse clinic. They said, you know, this is a very, very trying time for those who have uh, substance uh, abuse issues as well as uh, psychological issues. And we are open, we have medical teams here, we will check people to see if they have any of the symptoms of COVID-19. If they do, we will write an order, they will get testing. Um, but in the meantime, we wanna help them with their problem. We just don't want it to just stop because this is a very, very important time for those people. So that was Percy Menzies uh, from the American, uh, uh, from ARCA, American Recovery Centers of America. Got it. And then uh, are you hearing from other organizations where the community might want to reach out to during this time? Primarily, I'm, I'm hearing from individuals, um, nurses, uh, people who are also self-quarantined. Primarily, they're concerned about me and my wife because uh, we were some of the first to, to go into self-quarantine and, and get the COVID-19 test after uh, having symptoms. And so what I have been doing is trying to give them a, a vision of what it's like uh, to go through the test. I, I went and I videotaped the test that I received, which is a swab, they go up your nose. And uh, basically to try and lead people in a way that's responsible and also reduce the fear that exists right now, John. Well, you know, John, obviously we're living in ex extraordinary times and, you know, the, uh, not a single person uh, is not going to be impacted by this uh, at some level right now. Some people may not be. Um, I know that I am personally, uh, some family issues. I know that you know, m most of my team. Uh, and so, you know, I think in this time, it really is an opportunity for us to, you know, uh, have empathy for each other and really connect and, and, and share resources that are out there. Um, John, might you have a favorite quote or some words of wisdom? Hmm. Well, my, my favorite quote is uh, one I, I learned years ago in New York City from an executive. And uh, he said, uh, negative people make positive people positively sick. If you don't have anything positive to add, if you don't have any solutions to the problem, uh, it's best to keep quiet. Awesome. Thank you. Well, John, one of the things that uh, you do in your private life is that you are a collector of, of uh, old instruments, antique instruments and, and players and things like that. So uh, obviously we can see that you've got something in the background. What is that? Well, I've got something that makes up two companies. I have the uh, Columbia Graphophone right here. It's a cylinder player. And uh, I have an Edison cylinder that I'm going to play for you, which... Uh, it kind of symbolizes what we're all going through right now. This is a song recorded, uh, I believe, in 1904, and it's a wax cylinder. It's a two-minute cylinder, and I, I will sign off with this. Thanks so much for giving me the opportunity to talk to you. Well, I'm going to play this for you. Well, John, yes? John, real quick before you play that, I, I think a quote okay. is appropriate. So it's from Hans Christian Andersen, is that it says, where, where words fail music speaks. So with that, John, we look forward to listening uh, to that wax cylinder. Thank you. That is perfect. Thanks, John. Here we go. Roll out the lifeline on the bulletin. I love it.
love that. Thank you, John Perchborn, uh, for sharing your wax cylinder. My name is John Lanius. I'm the president of Vidzu Media, and uh, we are using the leadership factor to share resources for our community. Thank you for watching. Please share. Please reach out to your neighbors and your friends during this time. We'll be back soon. Thank you.